Okay, babies, so we are going gray, and we're doing it with a nice brown root. I've never done gray with a nice brown root, and I never knew it was something I needed, but look how beautiful, gorgeous this install came out. This one comes courtesy of Julia Hair. They sent over this beautiful color combo, and I'm gonna show you guys how I installed her from start to finish. We're gonna be using the Big Girl today. This is the Big Barrel Curling Iron from Hot Tools. I'm not sure if this is a one and a half or a two inch. I'll have exactly the, the size of the barrel um, in the description box, and I'll also have the link there. But I did do some step-by-step -step curls, and I did also use pin curls. <laughs> Get a load of this beautiful color and how it ombres from that nice, rich chocolate brown. And it goes into this beautiful, beautiful gray color. I'm gonna show you the whole execution, the cut, the style, the whole shebang. So if you're interested in seeing how we got this look, how we installed, how we styled from literally A to Z, keep on watching. Get ready with me to Apple TV and chill. But not really. I'm just feeling very crummy today. It is day one of the bread dot and I am not excited about it. I am feeling all the feels. Really wanna stay in bed, but I gotta be productive. And sometimes when you are feeling bad, taking your mind off of it by transforming into a bad, you know what, can definitely, definitely take the edge of how you feel. So I'm about to get really pretty. Isn't this one so cute? This one comes from Julia Hair and I love, I think this is so cute how it has like the natural brown type of root and it goes into this beautiful gray. I'm excited to see how this one is gonna look on me. When you feel bad, make sure you look really good. It's called balance. Okay, step one was just to go ahead and lay down my sideburns. You know, edge control is from bdagbd.com. I'll have it linked in the description box, but um, I've been taking my hair vitamins again like the last week or two, and I feel like my sideburns are just popping out even more than normal. I need to switch out my wig cap, but we're gonna be frugal and not do that today. This is the look at the inside construction of the cap. We are rocking a frontal and then it does come with the adjustable elastic band. I'm gonna adjust it like halfway and then I'm gonna cut off this excess lace right here. Hey Google, set thermostat to cool. Got it, changing the bedroom to cool. Having hot flashes y'all. Okay, step one with the wig on is just gonna be to cut the lace a little shorter. We don't gotta remove it completely yet. We wanna see what we're working with, but we can't see so just cut a little bit off if your lace is too long this is the beautiful wig here in all its glory so this is what it looks like as a center part it's a little crooked so i do wear center part i'm gonna go ahead and uh fix it up but this is the color and the style i've been into like flip overs like this lately and i've also been into the half up half downs and so i'm almost certain that I don't want to do just a traditional like buzz down middle part. So trying to see. Now this is what it looks like as a half up half down when you do the low pony or we can do a high pony. I think they kind of add some dimensions but I think I want it down today. So let's just do that whole routine of like cutting the lace and securing the baby hair together and then I'll come back and we'll decide how to style her. Okay, 
quick checkup I went ahead and just did the install I did go for the two little baby hair swoops now I kind of want to do sideburns and then I kind of just want to do edges on the side um, edges on the side are easier to maintain especially in the heat because with the heat your sideburns will lift you guys also see I did cut that extra little ear tab that would have um, gave me nice long sideburns because again it's a lot more maintenance, especially for me year round period. I prefer just to not have the sideburns. And you can kind of see I kind of like melted and married my own sideburns with that to kind of make that look a little bit more seamless. Let's do that on the same on the opposite side. Now you can see this side is the same way, seamless. So like this is my sideburns, this is the wig here and it all kind of just marries together. Let's just give it one more spray. Work that in with our fingers. Then I like to pat off any excess because if there's like a thick amount of residue on the hairline, what I personally find is that it will still be there and it'll dry there. And even if you put on makeup, it'll just look cakey. You see how well it melted? Now let's go ahead and Stamp out the center part. You want to make sure it's lined up. If your face is perfectly centered, you don't have to do that. But I feel like mine is not, which is okay. Now let's hit it with that dynamic duo. What's the dynamic duo, you ask? Wax stick paired with the electric hot comb. Okay, let's go ahead and tint the party. Oh, oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Maybe we can just try this. This is the powder I use in the hairline. Let's see what it looks like in the party. Nothing to me. E boys like you every dinner. I don't believe what you. It's a lot more subtle like that. I don't know. For me, that looks more wiggy. I know for some, some others that may look more natural. So I'm going to leave it for now. But I might go in and add my normal Too Faced concealer. I think that'll pop better. Now that the hair is done, you guys know me. If I wasn't a hair influencer or if I wasn't just filming this one, I would maybe add a little Bio Silk Serum, a little Paul Mitchell Serum, and I'd be out the door. And I'm going to just let the body wave body wave until it gets a little um, old, like two or three days later. And then once it gets that natural oil in from just, you know, being on, I would take it then and probably curl it because I'm a little maintenance and I'm a little lazy. But... Since you guys are here with me, I'm going to go ahead and curl it. Okay, that starts to curl. I'm going to just take a section like this. I'm going to add a little spritz. Comb the spritz through. Like that will make you a winner. I don't believe what I see. Why you wearing gold? how beautiful that curl came out but i should have grabbed it first i'm still gonna pin curl it but are you always best i can now let's keep it going watching my little crime investigation shows but you kind of see how i did it hopefully it came out okay i really 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 be playing with myself i'll be like i'm gonna do it messy here i'm gonna do it this and that but i feel like i get enough hours in and practice with these wigs i can really really step my game up so i'm challenging myself to take my time a lot more and really 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 learn how to do like hair like i really 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 want to get my curls like so good so i'm actually gonna stop playing with myself and start practicing i'm saying all this and then i can take these down and figure out that they are a fail maybe i'm using too much spritz 
but I really want them to have a little bit of hold. I really want a good defined curl. So hopefully I'm doing the right thing, y'all. Hopefully I'm holding the holding everything correctly. Either way it goes, I'm gonna do the rest off camera and then um, I'll come back to show you what we working with. Oh, <laughs> Okay, so I did the first half. Hopefully you can see that. And then this is the opposite half. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my thing on this side and then I'll be back to show you guys how it came out. Pray for me, pray for me, pray for me. Currently looking like somebody's grandma eating a Homemade McFlurry for my son. I just had him grind up the um, Oreos and put it on top and I'll mix it myself. But your girl curled her hair. Don't know what they're going to look like. I'm super excited, but I'm going to go ahead and eat this really quickly. Do my makeup off camera and then I'll come back and then we'll take them down together to see if I did this right or not. Okay, so I went and did a quick one, two, and I feel like I cleaned up pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to go ahead and take down the curls. First of all, I think I did something right because a lot of the times when I use my big barrel curling iron, I have no curls. Like even if I put it in the pin curl, it just looks like nothing and i feel like this one is pretty defined so i'm pretty happy about that thank you papa so off the bat i'm already happy and proud of myself now are some of them probably a little bit frizzy or maybe some of them going in the wrong direction probably well, let's just take them down and see what we got so far so good Okay, I feel like I did my big one with these. Let's just comb it out and see what we got. Okay, I think I did an amazing job. Or I can critique and say I may have did the most, maybe a little bit too much, is I think I might have cut a little bit too deep into it as far as layers go. Sometimes there's a fine line between a mullet, a reverse mullet, and a fire hairstyle. So I got to work on my cutting, but I think I did an amazing job considering I'm not good at cutting. I definitely brought out the vibe and the body in this hair. Okay, I'm definitely proud of myself. I feel like I can add a little bit of serum to tame it down or like an oil sheen, but I'm not gonna do that because I feel like I will start with one critique and then I just won't stop. The hair itself is absolutely gorgeous. Now, first I was nervous about having the brown root with the gray. I think this may be my first time actually having brown root with gray. And I'm gonna say the verdict is in and I absolutely love it. I think it's definitely different because typically you got like a darker root with gray would be call, um, like more of a deeper natural brown, like a 1B um, or even a black or just a darker shade of gray. So the fact that they went brown with the root and it's like a color two brown or maybe even lighter, I actually like that. And what I'm doing here is I'm taking the barrel and I'm just trying to press out the parting a little bit more. This one did come from Julia Hair as we already knew. Um, and then this is their packaging inside. They did give me an orange dust bag, which I really like that orange. I'm manifesting Miami for my birthday, so it'll be fun to take this beautiful look with the dust bag and the whole melt belt, because they did include the melt belt, because you guys already know I'm a whole matchy vibe a lot of the times. They also included some wig caps in the package, and then they gave me one of those little dust bag goodie bags. And in mine, I got a pack of wig caps, an additional uh, melt belt, so I got the, the logo one and just the regular cheetah one. I got a nice pair of lashes, which I'm going to sit aside. And then I also got a little rose gold kabuki brush, super cute. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I love the fact that you were able to see me execute this one from start to finish. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!